In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your images pop and specifically how to make your raw images pop in just Photoshop. So uh, this is the image we are going to be working with and uh, this image was taken by a photographer is called Adinoy. I'm going to put his link down in the description. So we are going to be editing this image and we are going to uh, add a little bit of pop and vibrance to this image. So I want to show you guys how to get those amazing colors pop in these portraits or how you can uh, attain these uh, popping colors in all your images so it is a simple video and it, it is not going to be long so let me show you guys how i do make my images pop so if at all you're watching this and you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the, the notification bell when you subscribe to this channel so let me kick in and start showing you guys the steps i go through to make my images my raw images in specific pop as you can see a few details about this image this image was taken uh, using an icon d750 and it was taken at f2.8 at one out of 100 of a second and it was taken using a 50 millimeter lens at iso 100 so usually uh you have to first of all know your camera profile the way your image was shot in your camera so usually i prefer to put all my images in landscape because uh, it gives us uh, those popping colors and it gives us a feel of that naturalness and vibrance in all my images so this is the image it is a raw file and we are in camera raw version 9.9 .9 in photoshop so just uh, the very first step is come to your camera calibration and if at all your image is not a raw image i don't think this video is for you so uh, this is for people who love shooting in raw and i would advise you guys to keep on shooting with raw to enable or experience the full potential in your images so come right here to your camera profile and select uh, a drop down right here so you see different profiles so uh, you see when i click on camera vivid uh, this is too much popping and uh, click on standard you can choose whatever works for you and you can just come to portrait you see if it can work for you and usually i say that i prefer landscape because it gives me uh, a natural but um better color pop in my images so this is uh the very first image and you can see from the very first step we already have uh, the best yeah we already have the best right here so you can see the image uh, already looks uh, beautiful so uh the next step i usually do is come to this basic adjustment panel and I play around with these little little sliders I just come to my highlights I prefer to knock them down because I want to regain most of the details in my images and uh, if you shoot outdoor photos uh, the sky is, is usually uh, overexposed unless you shoot in high speed sync so uh, make sure you pull down the highlights and if at all they are not blown out completely make sure you just uh, pull it slightly in to your negatives i think negative 38 can do for this image and come to your whites uh, i prefer to pump them up for my beauty shots because i want these highlights right here to uh to pop a little bit more and then i come to my blacks and i prefer to knock them down a little bit uh, six can do for this image and I come to my clarity i prefer to add five to my image to add that uh, color in the image and i prefer to uh, pump up my contrast a little bit to around four you can see the image is already popping and yeah this is where we are right now so i'll come right down to my vibrance and I'm going to pull it um, up uh, around 16 can do for this image and 
I'm going to knock down my saturation at around negative 2. You can see the image already looks amazing. And now I'm going to come to my shadows and I pull it up to around 13 because uh, it was uh, really dark in the shadow area, in the shadows of this image. So uh, I prefer to uh, pull them slightly up to around 11. And you see, if you knock uh, your shadows all the way up, uh, you lose uh, most of the details in your black. So uh, I prefer to knock them slightly up, right, uh, to around 11. So this can do, and if at all you'd love to go ahead and continue editing your image, you can just sharpen it a little bit more, come to your detail panel, and I uh, just sharpen it to around 48, and uh, to apply the sharpening, uh, mask out the area by holding down the old button and applying it uh, on the skin area. You, uh, you mask until you see where you want your sharpen to take place so we can leave it at this so let me show you guys how i made this beautiful raw image pop in photoshop so this is the before and this is the after you can see it already looks nice and amazing so this tutorial has been about how to make your images pop in only photoshop and they have been using camera raw filter and if at all you love this video don't forget to hit the like button and drop your comment in the comment section so that you motivate me to keep on dropping more videos on this channel. I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you haven't. Till next time.